this game, Hawkey 1816, we'll explore events leading up to the first Western-style school in Aotearoa, New Zealand, which was at Hawkey in Rangihaua, the Bay of Islands. We're going to set up the cards for the first chapter in the spots that are listed on the board for each card type. The red waka, the dice, timer, and yellow tokens we can leave off to the side for now. We'll use them later. Then we start the chapter by reading the chapter objective card. This chapter begins in 1793 with some of the early interactions between Māori and Pākehā. Key is the kidnapping of two Māori from Matodi Bay. The locations are Matodi Bay, Te Moana o Matodi, Norfolk Island, Te Moutere no Poke, and Port Jackson, Poihākena. The chapter objective, you complete this chapter when you get Lieutenant Governor King to return the two Māori home. As a team, we're going to travel to and explore these locations in order to gain the knowledge that we need in order to complete the chapter's objective. In this case, we need to find Lieutenant Governor King and convince him to return the two Māori home. We're going to have 30 time tokens in this first chapter, so we'll distribute these now. We win if we reach the chapter objective uh, before we run out of time tokens. We, we earn a higher score if we spend as few time tokens as possible and we gain as much knowledge cards as we can along the way. Whee! To be clear, we will lose the game if we run out of time tokens. We can also lose the game if we run out of kupu cards, but we'll get to those later. The game begins. Where will we travel to first? Matauri Bay. Okay, I agree. Why not? So, two time, to two time tokens. Right. One, two. Spent already. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's bring the panorama out. And I'll read the cover card. You reach Matodi Bay, south of the Bay of Islands, where young Huru and his friend Tuki like to go fishing. You can see two Māori fixing a net, a crew member on a ship, and a Māori man who looks like he wants to speak with you. You think you could use the rowboat to investigate the ship. Stop. You must use an explore action to move the waka pawn to a panorama card. Only then can you turn it over and engage with it. Right, when we explore, we move the waka token to the card that we are exploring and pay a time token. I think we should explore this one because the man wants to speak with us. He looks like he does. I'll spend that time token. Okay, I'll spend some time too eventually. We then engage with the card by reading it out. I'm sure it's your turn. He's a worried man. The man looks worried. My brother and his friend had been kidnapped. I couldn't believe it when the ship sailed away with Maitena on board. I don't want to go home to Oruru in Tokarab until I can find news of my little brother, Tuki. He seems reluctant to continue. You could try and convince him to communicate further. And here we have a challenge. Ooh. We can do a dice four challenge to continue, or we can leave him be. If we win, though, we replace this card with a discovery card and continue. Shall well, we it sounds like we need to do the Should challenge in this instance. Shall we try? We can absolutely try. Your turn or mine? Here you go. Okay. <laughs> the dice challenge involves rolling the dice, trying to achieve the number, in this case four, of the challenge. We have five flames, so I we know. succeeded right off the bat. That is exciting. So, we need discovery card one. These cards are numbered in order, and you just take the one that is called for at the time. Okay, discovery card one. Tuki's older brother. Tuki's brother appreciates your sympathy and hopes someone will find out if Tuki is okay. I really hope my little brother can return home. I know he's strong-willed and a survivor. I do worry though. Will we ever be reunited? I'm fine. You must have, whoops, stop. It says you must have message to Tuki's brother to continue. What does that mean? That is a knowledge card. The little green square there is referring to these. So we need to find <laughs> some knowledge before we can come back here and continue. So let's go explore somewhere else. All right, so we can come back there. 
I think we should go to Port, Port Jackson next. Okay. Let's go to Port Jackson. Why not? I'll pay the three. Or maybe you really retake it. And off we go to Port Jackson. Mm -hmm. So we lay out the coats. And you read the cover cut. And I will read it. Port Jackson in 1793. The Gadigal people called it Gadi. Port Jackson is now called Sydney and was settled in 1788 by British convicts and officers. In the scene before you is a young Anglican minister. You also spy some papers through a window and an officer who seems very happy. What will we explore first? Let's go check out that minister. All right. I'll pay again. Here we go. A young Samuel Marsden. You attend a Sunday morning church service. Samuel Marsden, the chaplain, drones on. It is high time to make known the glad tidings in these dark regions of sin and spiritual bondage. Will you try to speak with the chaplain after his sermon? We have another challenge. This one is a Kupu mm. 3 challenge. So a Kupu challenge involves right. the Kupu, Kupu cards. We said we'd get to them later. <laughs> what we need to do is get through three of these cards in one minute when this timer runs out. To get through a card, you'll notice each of these cards has some words on it, both in Tere Māori and in English. And one player is going to need to describe the card to the other player, describe the words to the other player without using these forbidden words on the bottom. Hmm. If the other players, or any of the other players, can guess either the Tereo Māori or the English or just the Tereo or just the English, depending on the skill levels of the players, then you succeed at the card and you can go on to the next one. If you think a word is too hard and you're not doing a good job of explaining it, you can just skip it, but it doesn't count as one that you've succeeded at. So we need to succeed at three cards in one minute because mm. this is a Kupu 3 challenge. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so shall we take turns acting them out? Why not? Um, these are people that you generally live with, your Family. kids. Yes. Uh, this is uh, the person who rules the area. Limitator? Uh, nope. Uh, the person in, in, usually assigned by the British. Oh, governor. Governor. Um, and then finally, this is some delicious. A uh, thing in the ground. Kumara? Yes. yes. <laughs> and we got three. Done. Yes. Time to spare. Time to spare. Many, much time to spare. So we succeeded at this. These cards are discarded and the remaining cards go back here that were not used. A reminder, if we run out of kupu cards, we lose the game. So don't skip too many. Dun, dun, dun. So for succeeding, we take knowledge card 13. Ooh, okay. Can I look at that one? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we find out about Samuel Marston. And at the bottom of the card, it has a little plus one in so the kitty. So we gain so one. There knowledge. we go, we've got first knowledge point. And we get a power. We can discard this card to reduce a kupu challenge by one. Sounds cool. Excellent. In which case, we could discard that if we had it to make it a kupu two challenge instead of a kupu three challenge. And that's how you play Hohi 1816. Um, you continue exploring locations, getting more knowledge cards, and trying to get to the discovery card, the story card here, where Lieutenant Governor King has returned the boys home.